What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another ROG Ally video and we very recently got a BIOS update from ASUS with 338 from 337. The fan curve's gone from 35 dBA to 30 in turbo mode plugged in and 30 to 25 turbo mode went on battery and changed the minimum fan speed in manual mode at certain temps. I'm more focused on that 25 and 30 watt turbo modes when unplugged and plugged in so we'll take a look at a few games here compared and see what the difference is. So unplugged 25 watt turbo mode first, on the left we've got BIOS 337 with the GPU driver, the newest driver, 2431, and on the right, BIOS 338 with GPU driver 2431 here as well. And as we would figure, as we go through and look at all these games here, you're going to see higher uh, temps over here on the newer BIOS. They obviously uh, going more for uh, quiet operation and less for the thermals. The fans aren't spinning up as much, and we do see a difference when it comes to just overall performance. Not a lot necessarily. Uh, a little bit better on frame times on this version uh, here on Cyberpunk, but overall performance a little bit lower there, and of course thermals were a good bit different as well. Now, Ghost of Tsushima is another one I wanted to take a look at. Two, three degrees difference here on this on 25 watt turbo mode. Not a lot of difference in the performance. However, I will say I felt like this particular game, unlike Cyberpunk, felt a little bit smoother, maybe a little better on the 337, but negligible. They're, they're both very similar here, but performance wise, as far as thermals, four, five degree difference here at 25 watts with the newer fan curve set up in 338. Same thing if we go out here, uh, we get about two degrees, three degrees, depending. So 78 to 80 or 78 to 81 uh, when it comes to out here in the open world. It does relate to a little bit lower performance out here as well by a few FPS from time to time and how the clocks are working on the GPU that you can see. So it is affecting performance and frame times a little bit here in uh, Ghost of Tsushima. So not as good on the 338 for this uh, game. Unlike Cyberpunk, where performance wasn't as good but frame times were a little better interesting on that one but anyway um shadow of the tomb raider here a little piece of this one quite a difference here as well similar 78 to 81 in the difference so three degrees or so when you're comparing 337 to 338 and the performance is super similar maybe a little smoother on some of the frame times or hiccups on 338 than 337 so a little improved maybe like cyberpunk uh, but definitely higher on the temps when it comes to that and causing issues maybe sometimes the clocks will come down a little bit lower sooner on 338 there on the gpu or whatever versus 337 but it kind of really is game dependent as you can see here in this testing we're kind of getting very things when it comes to performance frame times and thermals based on these changes to the bios but overall you can see the difference that we have here unplugged mode now the uh, last one i want to take a look at is going to be call of duty now, I'm not a big fan of the benchmark in Call of Duty uh, here, but I did want to use it just to take a look at temps because this one can get me on temps sometimes. It does run the devices a little bit warmer from time to time. There's definitely a difference here, even though we're running everything else the same as far as like the amount of RAM being used. Um, between GPU and CPU more than the other games. So that was interesting. I, I don't know what was up with that with this game. But anyways, I, again, this benchmark is a little goofy. But temps-wise, similar to the other games here, or similar to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, about 3 degrees difference, 78 to 81 here, when we're looking at 25-watt turbo. And only a little bit of difference, a couple FPS, but again, not super reliable here in Call of Duty. Now I want to switch over to the plugged in 30 watt turbo mode here and we'll take a quick look at all these games again. Cyberpunk here goes from 80 uh, on the old BIOS up to about 85, 86 on the new BIOS here when it comes to Cyberpunk. And as far as the actual game's performance, again, it's very similar. I don't think the thermals are affecting this game as much as some of the other ones uh, potentially, but it certainly is running a good bit warmer here when we're talking about plugged in and a little bit deg of degradation in the actual performance. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima here, similar, just sitting still here, 81, 83 versus about 85, 82, bouncing around there, a little bit of a difference between our temps there. And plugged in here, it actually felt a little bit smoother on the 338 than the 337, not by a lot. Again, kind of negligible. I mentioned the same thing on the 25 watts. Um, but again, six degree difference though in our thermals. If you're a person that likes to run things a lot cooler, you're going to want to adjust your own fans and not necessarily go with these curves. They are a little bit quieter, but I'm not someone who thought the ally was loud to begin with and had no problem with the curves before. So for me, I don't prefer these thermals over what we were seeing on 337. Now here in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, very similar thing. Performance is almost identical, but uh, thermals five degree difference or so when you're talking about plugged in here. A lot more difference in this because we were 78 and 81 on the 25 watt turbo mode, but on 30, 
uh, the thermals are much uh, more different, like six to five, six degree difference instead of two or three uh, here. So that was interesting as well. And then, of course, our final results for that. Now, again, last thing I want to take a quick look at is Call of Duty, especially plugged in. I've had this one get me pretty warm, even on 337. Uh, but for the most part, we do seem to come in around similar to Shadow of the Tomb Raider 80, 81. It might fluctuate a little bit, but 86, 87 plugged in again, very similar, but five, six. Um, I've even seen seven degree difference uh, here with 33 versus 337. Is any of this a big deal? No, not necessarily. We're not seeing huge differences in performance. We're seeing some variances, which could be due to the update of BIOS and the thermals. But all in all, again, I'm not super pleased with that because for me, the Ally wasn't a noise issue. I know some people have said they raised the van curves before and it kind of bothered them and now they've brought them back down. But I don't know. I preferred the temps on the 337 versus the 338, even if performance isn't always different. However, just with these few games, we've seen that it does affect things a little bit, especially when clock speeds and thermals and throttling and all that come into play. But it is what it is, and we'll continue to get more updates, and we'll test those as they come in the future. And let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, we really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.